everyone, and welcome to Flemington in Melbourne, the home of the biggest event on the Australian racing calendar around the world, from Dubai to Tokyo, from New York to London, over 400 million people are counting down to our great race, the Melbourne Cup. The year-long wait is nearly over, and the days of preparation And it's are there. Done. The gardens, the theatres, the restaurants. It's there. It's there at the famous MCG in September, and again the day after Christmas. And at the Grand Prix in March, the Grand Slam in January. And most of all, it's here on this day. Cup Day. It's the feeling that Melbourne truly belongs on the world stage. Welcome back to Australia's international race course at Flemington in Melbourne for the Melbourne Cup. Two systems of betting in Australia, the Totalisator and the Bookmakers, and Tim Gossage is down there with the bookies as the frantic last-minute action takes place. Tim? Thanks very much, Peter. Well, they've come for Oscar Schindler. He's got admirers as his saintly... 135 years after Archer won the first Melbourne Cup. 116 years after 100,000 people attended the Melbourne Cup for the first time in 1880. The tradition really carries on to Flemington on the first Tuesday in November. Thank you, Peter. A sea of people here at Flemington Racecourse. It is jam-packed. And we're going to see something special in a few moments' time as the runners are filling the starting stalls for the Foster's Melbourne Cup of 1996. What a beautiful-looking animal he is, Gary Willis. He is incredible. Oscar Schindler just going in there. Looks incredible. Dividends for $1 on the bottom of your screen. Saintly at $6.80 and $2.40 replaced for favouritism by Oscar Schindler at $5.90. Grey shots at $18. Nothing like a day in $7.70. Sapio, $55. Esther Dutt at 15.30. Crying Game and Magnet Bay are the two scratchings. One of the New Zealanders, Senator, well in command at 9.90 as the gates fill up rapidly. He looked very well there, the Senator. Also, uh, it was interesting to watch these horses as they take the, uh, all the pressure of the crowd. And saintly, he just strolled down. You can tell that Bart Cummings polish on him, nicely relaxed. There's fewer chosen going in. I thought the bandit had done very well. His coat's at last changed. He had a winter coat for quite a while when he was here. Now, fewer chosen coming up. We're waiting on the phantom chance. Oscar Schindler, he just looks magnificent. Beautiful horse. So does Gray Shot. Here is and Super Slew. I thought, looked very well then. Super Slew about to go in. They're ready now for the Foster's Melbourne Cup of 1996. Electrifying roars from the crowd. And this great race has begun. Saintly, one of the best to jump away with Arctic Scent towards the inside. Skybow Alcove, nothing like a Dane up there early. Oscar Schindler allowed to drift back a little bit early. Grey Shots racing forward, so too is Court of Honor. Then Estada followed by Sedico. Count Shivers behind them. He's getting back in the early part. Fewer chosen's wide out, but he is going forward from his wide alley. And then Super Slew, followed by the Bandit around the Phantom Chance. Cheviot dripping back to the tail of the field. Doremus is third last, and Boart back to second last. Coming down the straight on the first circuit in the Foster's Melbourne Cup of 1996. And the leader is Grey Shot. Fewer chosen going up on the outside of its second. Then sent to go on the outside at Court of Honour, and nothing like a Dane into a beautiful spot, 50 inside. They were followed by Saintly, racing on the inside of El Cove. Vistadad, three wide, and Super Slew, four deep. Then my Kiwi Gold around Circles of Gold and on the inside Count Shivers. A length and a half to the stable mates, the band dead on the inside of the Phantom Chance. A length and a half to Senator on the inside of Oscar Schindler. One and a half lengths to Arctic Scent around its sky bow. Then Sapio fourth last on the inside of Doremus and at the tail is Boart on the outside of Cheviot. Along the Mer Meribodong River side of the track, 2,000 metres to go. About 10 or 12 lengths would cover up first from last. And the big field of 22 is headed by Grey Shot. His lead is about a length and a half. Few are chosen running second and nothing like a day in few are chosen stable mate is third on the inside. Super Slew just trapped a little bit wide on the outside of Court of Honor. Then Saintly having a lovely run sixth on the rails. Sendigo, the outsider of the field, is out three wide around El Cove. And then came Count Shivers the inside. Back midfield circles of goal racing between Estadad and the Bandit taking all the shortcuts on the rails. Then came Senator, followed by Mike Kiwi Gold, the Phantom Chance. Wonder Oscar Schindler, then Arctic Sen on the inside of Sky Bow from Sapio to Remus. Cheviot and Boart last until about 12 lengths off the leader, Grey Shot. 1,300 metres left to go. 
Dre Shot leads the length and a quarter. Buarcho's in second. Nothing like a Danes had a lovely run through the rails. A length further back to Super Slew. Another length and a half into Saintly. A half to quarter Bonner. Then came Count Chivas racing on the inside of El Cove. Sendico's out three wide. Then came the Bandit Circles of Gold. Estadart around did about two lengths away. Then a Senator. They were followed by the Phantom Chance. Further back then to Arctic Scent, Mike Kiwi Gold going up around the midfield from Oscar Schindler. He's on the outside of Arctic Scent and Sky Bow and then Doremus, Sapio, Cheviot and Boart still last of all. 800 metres to go in the Foster's Melbourne Cup and it's great shot now being pressured by Fuart Chosen. Super Slew to third, a length away, nothing like a Dane, followed by Court of Honour. Sendigo next and Saintley's on the inside, followed by Estadart as they turn for home. Now Saintley taken to the outside and is starting to work into it. It's great shot being tackled by nothing like a Dane. Nothing like a Dane took the lead. Here is Saintley. Saintley's coming after him. Count Chivas working into the race. Then Super Slew followed by Senator running on. Oscar Schindler struggling. Saintley hit the lead in the Melbourne Cup. He drew a length in front of nothing like a Dane. Count Chivas. Skybo running on, Saintly in front for Darren Breedman. Bart Cummings has got his 10th Melbourne Cup. Saintly's going to win the Melbourne Cup for Darren Breedman and Bart Cummings. Saintly first, second placing goes to Count Chivas, a great run. Skybo third, then Senator Doremus, nothing like a Dane. Cheviot next from Arctic Scent, then came Greyshot, Circles of Gold, Sapio the Bandit. Then centre go the Phantom Chance, Estadard, Super Slew, Oscar Schindler, Elko, my Kiwi Gold, Court of Honour, Board and Fewer Chosen knocked up to finish towards the rear of the field. Oh, great run, Dan. What a beautiful ride. He just had him tucked away. I said before the race, there's the great man there on screen, Bart Cummings. Ten Melbourne Cups. But oh, look, you could just see that horse, the preparation he put into him, the relaxed manner as he went down to do his preliminary. And a beautiful ride by Darren Beeb and topped it off. He just tucked him way on the fence. I noticed it about the 1800 you said he's back running sixth on the fence. Wasn't spending an ounce of energy any part of the race. And when he brought him out, oh, he just lengthened stride beautifully. Well, he's won easily. Darren Beedman's second Melbourne Cup. And Bart Cummings is 10th. And the numbers are officially 5. 2 and 22 on the Foster's Melbourne Cup of 1996. Yeah, great run of Count Chavez. He was, uh, you know, very good run. Senator came home. There's that great war. You can hardly hear it here up here in this box here. Let's go trackside. John Letts has got Darren Beedman. What a spring. What a year he's had. Let's see. <laughs> oh, what a great ride though, mate. And you follow Shane all the way. And you drew three, Shane come across and you had a nice run. Oh, wait, mate. What about when you hit the front turning for home? Was you ever doubtful that you get the 3200? Mate, you just travelled so kind the whole journey. And what about the JB coming to Polish? He is an absolute genius with a capital G. <laughs> Isn't he? And, and you know, you look at the top plate and you think 2,000 metres and, and he looked like he just got it. He goes to 3200 today, has a beautiful run all the way. And he, at the finish, he blitzed them. He is, uh, you know, we just can't describe how I feel. It's just... You know, I just give all the glory to God. I just thank him so much. Darren, it must be great. You know, I, I have ridden for Bart over the years, but when you go out on the horse and Bart, he was so confident, wasn't he? Yeah, he, um, he was really trained this horse. He, I think he knew he had a horse that could run two miles the way that his nature is. And, uh, oh, what a... It's just, I can't speak. And, and Darren, they said he wasn't bred to stay, but Bart said he doesn't know who his parents are. <laughs> That's right. He's, he's just a wizard. Oh, congratulations, mate. This is going to be most, one of the most sentimental wins, I think, ever. Bart coming to 10th Melbourne Cup and Darren Beaver in second. Congratulations, Darren. Congratulations indeed, Johnny Letts and Darren Beaver. I tell you what, you'll get a massive, massive salute from this great crowd here at Flemington Day. But have a look at that horse. It just looks like he could go around again. He's just incredible. There he is here. He's just lengthening stride here. And he just strides away. Incredible. That's Count Chavez on the outside. Tenth Melbourne Cup for Bart Cummings. Here he is, the winning trainer with Peter Donegan. Bart, congratulations. You described the Cox Plate as one of the most emotional moments in racing. How does Melbourne Cup win number 10 stack up? It's getting better as the week goes on. <laughs> Did you think it had ever come? It's five years since Let's Alive, and after all the trials and tribulations, but this horse is a super horse now. He's pretty good. He stays well. He's a good one on the quarter. Let's go for the Japan Cup next. Did you have any doubt in your own mind that he would stay the two miles? 
We, well, he's uh, a bit tight in the stay. He's nice and relaxed. And, but you're never sure until the race is over, are you? But, uh, I thought he'd stay all right. He's nice and relaxed. Lovely horse. Excuse me. And, of course, uh, as you go out now to have a look at the horse coming back with Darren Boothman, there's Bart Cummings now. And we'll try and keep with him as we survey the scene here. The usual crush of media in the mounting yard. And Darren Beatman doffs the cap. Mark Cummings now has his own Melbourne Cup. He's going to try and get through with Dato Tanchin Nam to lead the horse back in. The BRC have made a special trophy for Mark Cummings if and when he won his 10th Melbourne Cup. On the first Tuesday in November of 1996, he's done just that. He'll take his own Melbourne Cup away today and confirm himself as the king of Australia's greatest race. The plaudits of the crowd as Darren Beatman, a man whose career hit rock bottom when he was disqualified in Hong Kong. But like all true champions, he dug deep and found the stuff the champions are made of. He dedicated his life to Christianity. He bounces back. And now, for the second time, Darren Beatman comes back to the winner's stall after the Melbourne Cup. What a fantastic performance to train this horse for two miles after it won the Cox Plate two weeks ago. And there it is, the famous star jump. He practiced it at the Cox Plate. This might be even better. Darren Beaton uh, unsettling safely now. Gallant in defeat, the place getters. But this scene gets more and more frantic, more and more chaotic every year. Bart Cummings, well, he looks calm on the outside, he always does, but he shed a tear after the Cox Plate. I wouldn't be at all surprised if you might see one here at Flemington this afternoon. In fact, I think there might have already been one rolling down the cheek. Saintly comes back. He needs to be a placid horse because of the attention that is focused on him from up above. And from here on ground level, he is a placid horse, and that's half the reason he won the Melbourne Cup today. He relaxed. He was ridden a beautiful race by Darren Beatman. At the top of the straight, when the accelerator was hit, he responded. Nothing like a Dane had had a beautiful run in the race. It was perfectly ridden by Shane Dye, but Saintly was able to charge away. Count Shivers has run a great race for the Lee Friedman stable in finishing second. Sky Bow third. Fourth in the race was the Kiwi Senator. And getting home for fifth placing was nothing like a Dane. Oscar Schindler got a long way back in the race and began to make a charge in the home straight. His run petered out probably over the last 200 metres or so. But you certainly can't take anything away from the winner. And look at the smile on his face.